Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre from WindowsITExports.com and in today's video we are going to see how to install RSET tools on uh, Windows 7 and Windows uh, 10 client operating system. So what is basically RSET is? RSET is uh, uh, used uh, to manage your Active Directory uh, from uh, Windows uh, 7 or Windows uh, 10, uh, Windows 10 client uh, computers. Uh, so basically why do we use uh, windows uh, 7 to uh, install rsat and then use uh, 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 use uh, active directory okay so uh, the reason behind it is uh, uh, architectures or organizations uh, uh, management don't want uh, uh, you uh, you guys like uh, desktop engineers or uh, the, the junior administrators uh, don't uh, they should not uh, log in into uh, into domain controllers uh, directly so what they do what they suggest uh, you install rset tool you should install management pack on client computer and manage uh, the task like uh, adding user accounts adding computers uh, uh, into domain adding uh, uh, adding uh, groups into domain or managing uh, uh, managing groups uh, users computers or uh, group policies as well okay so, so let's go ahead and uh, install uh, rsat uh, first of all you should download it uh, uh, the correct version of your operating system if you have a 32 bit uh, download 32 bit uh, if you have 64 bit you should download 64 bit for both the versions i have both the versions 64 and 32 okay so if i install try to install uh, 64 bit edition it would not uh, get installed on uh, 32 bit so make sure so this is the error uh, message uh, the update is not applica applicable to your computer because it's, because it is 64 bit uh, my operating system is 32 bit so install let's go ahead and install the 32 bit version <coughs> On Windows 7 so this is it uh, the update for Windows uh, blah 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 yes click on yes then we'll check for the uh, for the updates or uh, cache something like that so meanwhile I'll go to Windows 10 operating system and uh, will install Win. I have saved this into temp folder both the versions i have windows 10 32 bit operating system so i have downloaded uh, and uh, going to install 32 bit version of rsat okay so on windows uh, 7 it is asking me for to accept a uh, license i accept it and it will uh, uh, it started the installation on Windows 10 as well uh, click on yes so I accept now both are uh, installing uh, uh, rsat so meanwhile i'll uh, pause the recording and will come back after the after installation is finished so the installation is complete and uh, we are back uh, windows 7 and uh, this is windows 10 uh, it is asking for the reboot what i will do i will restart the machine Okay, restart anyway, close. So, uh, Windows 10 is uh, rebooting. So, in Windows 7, I will go to control panel in programs. programs and features turn windows features on or off click on this <coughs> now 
It's taking some time. <laughs> Okay. Can you see this remote server administrative tools? It is not enabled. You have to enable it and uh, expand it. DHCP server tools, DNS server tools, Hyper-V tools, uh, remote desktop services tools, feature installation. ADDS and ADLDS Active Directory Certificate in the uh, ADDS enable PowerShell as well ADLDS tool ADLDS so, Administrative Center Command Line Server for NIS tools so if you want to enable file server resource manager tools you can do it share and storage okay so <laughs> DFS system tools So that's it uh, for Windows uh, 7. Click on OK and it will take some time. I'll check out uh, okay it is working on updates <coughs> so we have enabled uh, advanced uh, uh, features in uh, uh, Windows 7 now you can see DHCP is there all programs you can see administrative tools uh, is there Active Directory Users and Computers. Oh, naming information will be located. So it is not uh, login opening active directory users and computers. Oh, uh, I'm logging with uh, Nilesh. Uh, that is a local account. Okay, I'll log off and uh, re login into administrator account of domain. So this is it. Active Directory user. So now it is open. Now I can manage Active Directory from here. I can create users, create computers, name, user. So it is totally depend upon your uh, rights. Uh, uh, how much rights do you have? Uh, uh, if uh, you have a de delegated permissions. Uh, for creating user or not okay so uh, we'll go ahead with the windows uh, 10 operating system uh, it is rebooted and uh, 
I'll log in into it. So here as well we have to go to programs and features. Okay, turn uh, windows features on or off. remote server administrative tools uh, role administration all the features are already tech and server manager as well uh, is also check uh, okay great so after installing this uh, we have we don't have to do anything uh, uh, it will automatically check mark great sorry okay then we'll check if we are able to open dsa.msc is a shortcut for opening uh, ad users and computers mumbai ah great man so now i think we can access server manager as well see server manager this is the server manager uh, we can uh, access like windows uh, 12 operating system we are managing windows 12 operating system okay it's great man uh, so now we don't need <laughs> server operating system we can uh, see this is the great field man to free users and computers then administrative center is also there uh, we can uh, access administrative center so that's it from this video and uh, if you like this video please uh, subscribe to my channel please like this video on uh, youtube please like uh, my page on facebook follow me on twitter google plus so thank you for watching this video and have a great day we'll meet in the next video thanks a lot bye bye